So today in this video, we shall learn to find the GCF of HCF of 18 and 45. And here we shall find out GCF of HCF by two methods. First one by band factorization method and second one by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 18 and 45 by band factorization method. So while finding of GCF of HCF by prime factorization method, first of all we have to find out the prime factors of given numbers. So here numbers are 18 and 45. So let's find out the prime factors of 18. So it is 2 times 9 means 18, like as 3 times 3 means 9 and 3 times 1 means 3. In the same way, we shall find out the prime factors of 45. So it is 3 times 15 means 45, like as 3 times 5 means 15, and 5 times 1 means 5. So as you look here, we have find out the prime factors of 18 and 45. So from these prime factors, so we can write 18 is equal to, so from here it is 2 times 3 times 3. In the same way, we can write 45 is equal to, from here it is 3 times 3 times 5. So as you look here, we have taken out the prime factors of 18 and 45. So now we find out the common factors in these prime factors. So here is 3 and here is also 3. So 3 is our common factor. Like as here is 3 and here is also 3. So 3 is our common factor. So at last we have 2 and 5 which is non-common factor. So as you know, we are finding out here GCF of HCF. So GCF of HCF is the product of only all common factors. So we have common factors of 3 and 3. So now we find out the product of these common factors. So it is 3 times 3 means 9. So 9 is the product of these common factors. Therefore, 9 is the GCF of HCF of 18 and 45. So in this way we can find out GCF of HCF by prime factorization method. So now our second method is by division method. So let's find out GCF of HCF of 18 and 45 by division method. So while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, first of all we have to divide the greater number which is 45 with the lesser number which is 18. So 18 times 2 means it is 36 and 45 minus 36 means it is 9. So we have here 9 as remainder. So when the 9 of the remainder comes while finding out GCF of HCF, then you have to divide the divisor with remainder. So 9 divides the divide remainder 18. So 9 times 2 means it is 18. So at last we have here no remainder. So no remainder is taken out by the divisor 9. So 9 becomes the GCF of HCF. So while finding out GCF of HCF by division method, first of all you have to divide the greater number with lesser number. And while dividing here, 18 times 2 is 46. And here we have came 9 as remainder. So when 9 came, then it is a remainder. Then you have to again divide the divisor with remainder. And you have to keep dividing until there is no remainder at last. So 9 divides 18 means there is no remainder at last. So 9 took the no remainder. Therefore, we can say GCF of HCF is equal to 9. So in this way, we can find out GCF of HCF by division method. So this was for today. And if you have any question for a map, then just comment your question in the comment below. And we shall provide a video solution of your question. So thank you.